Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers is the enchanting story of a mysterious and magical nanny who arrives at the Banks household to care for the children, Jane, Michael, and the infant twins, John and Barbara. The family lives at number 17 Cherry Tree Lane, in a house that's become increasingly difficult to manage ever since their previous nanny, Katie Nana, abruptly leaves. The book opens with Mr. and Mrs. Banks in a state of distress about finding a new nanny. As if by fate, the east wind brings Mary Poppins, who appears at their doorstep holding her carpet bag and umbrella. With very little discussion, she takes charge of the bank's children. Mary Poppins is an extraordinary figure, stern and direct, yet she possesses a magical quality that fascinates the children. She is not only able to communicate with animals, but also has the power to take the children on incredible adventures. Her carpet bag, though ordinary looking, contains a multitude of objects no matter their size, and her umbrella allows her to fly. One of the first adventures is when Mary Poppins takes the children to visit her uncle Albert, who has a curious condition that causes him to float in the air when he laughs. They spend a delightful afternoon having tea on the ceiling, laughing along until they can no longer float. Another enchanting outing involves a visit to the talking starling where Michael has a conversation with the bird. The starling shows insight into Mary Poppins' cryptic nature, hinting that she's more than meets the eye. Mary Poppins also introduces the children to her friend Bert, the matchman, who draws magical pictures on the pavement. They jump into one of Bert's drawings and find themselves in a countryside carnival. At this fair, they enjoy a thrilling carousel ride, during which the horses come to life and take each rider on separate adventures. The children discover that even routine tasks can become magical under the guidance of Mary Poppins. Simple shopping trips turn into extraordinary experiences, such as when they buy gingerbread from Mrs. Corey. They witness the old lady snapping off her fingers and pasting them onto the gingerbread as stars, which later end up in the night sky. Mary Poppins also takes the children to the zoo, but it's no ordinary visit. They go at night when it's closed to the public, and it becomes apparent that Mary has a special relationship with the animals. They are celebrating the birthday of the snake, and the roles are reversed. The animals are free while the humans are in enclosures. The wise old Hamadriad bestows upon Mary Poppins the honor of being a birthday present, an event that humbles Mary. Despite the fun and games, Mary Poppins maintains a strict attitude and she never admits to the magical events taking place. This confuses the children, as Mary always pretends that their fantastical adventures were ordinary outings. Her denial makes the children question whether these adventures happened at all. An important aspect of Mary Poppins' character is her vanity. She is often found admiring her reflection in shop windows, but this trait adds to her charm and mystery. She is not all-knowing and sometimes displays human-like faults. The biggest adventure in the book comes at the end, during a great and tumultuous event at the Banks' house. The children's mother, Mrs. Banks, is organizing a grand party, and everyone is in a flutter of preparation. During the party, Mary's parrot umbrella, which usually argues and talks back to her, converses with the children. It tells them that the west wind is blowing, which signals that Mary's time with them is coming to an end. As predicted, the adventure with Mary Poppins concludes just as suddenly as it began. After the party, the wind changes direction, and Mary Poppins knows that it's time for her to leave. The children are heartbroken, having grown to love Mary Poppins and the magic she brought into their lives. They desperately wish for her to stay, but Mary is resolute. With little fanfare and no emotional goodbyes, she opens her umbrella and is carried away by the wind, leaving the Banks family behind. In her departure, Mary leaves the Banks family transformed. The children have grown and learned from their experiences, cherishing the memories of their time together. Although they are saddened by her absence, they are also touched by the magic she has shown them, which has enriched their view of the world around them. Mary Poppins' departure is symbolic of her elusive and transient nature, she does not belong to one place or one family. Her purpose is to arrive when needed and leave when she must move on. Her exit is as sudden and mysterious as her entrance, but the Banks family and the readers are left with the hope that perhaps Mary Poppins will return someday 
when she's needed once again. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.